All right. The first piece is the base of the L bracket, all aluminum. Your screw has one of the little built-in handles for turning, which I appreciate. And here we have the side piece. Again, all aluminum. And in the bag, we have several different screws. Let's go ahead and put this together. All right. So I believe these two small screws here, see if I can get them in my palm here. These are what you're going to use to attach the side to the L bracket. And let's make sure that the included Allen wrench, yes, it does fit those. All right. So what we want to do is you want to put this together with the Arca Swiss plate part of the side facing out, obviously. So let's get those in there and see how difficult this is going to be. All right, let's get the Allen key. We'll get the first one started here. Right, that one's in and the next one here. There it goes. All right, now let's tighten both of those up. There we go, that one's in. And that one's in. And there we go. We have an L bracket. Let's see. How flush are we? Actually, there's a little bit. Let me see if I can straighten out right now. If you can see. Yeah, you can see there's a little. It's not quite flush on the bottom, but let me see if I can adjust that. I'm doing the screw a little bit. How about I'm doing both screws? Okay, let's see if we can make that flush there. There we go. Okay, there we go. That was the problem. Uh, when you're installing this, just push down on the top when you go for that final tighten, and then you're gonna have a nice flush edge here. And there it is. There's the bracket. Now, one of the nice things about this and why I picked it is that it actually has Arca Swiss plate here as well as here. So in the pictures for this item, they show them using this on like a long Manfrotto plate, which is strange because this is Arca Swiss. So if you have an Arca Swiss head like I do here, that simply slides in there like so and it has a nice steady grip there that's not sliding at all not wiggling in any way and because we have arca swiss on both sides here if you want to shoot vertical it's no problem it connects just fine let's go ahead and install this on my camera what have i got here i've got a gh5s so Typically, you're going to mount these like this. So let's go ahead and screw him in. Oops. Make sure we're, yeah, we're in there now. Okay. All right, that little built-in handle does make this process quite a bit easier. Now you can either keep that up flush against the camera if you don't need access to any of the ports in there or you can back it off a little bit so that you can still get into the ports there see there's plenty of room for that door to clear so let's go ahead with that position are we straight yep we're straight and again very stable nothing slipping and then just like I showed you before, you can mount it more traditional way, just like that. Or if you want to shoot vertically, 
you can mount it this way as well. And again, no problems with slipping or anything. Now this is a very generic L bracket, so it should fit just about any kind of camera, whether it's DSLR, mirrorless, brand's not gonna matter at all, especially since it's so long and you can back it off. So whatever ports you might need access to, no matter the brand of camera, you should have no problems. Price is certainly right. I would definitely recommend.